Hello everybody, this is Stongman and welcome to the first campaign mission of Hogs of War in the Hogshead area of South Australia, which I'll show the map up briefly. We've put you in charge of your own squad of guns taking part in an invasion of Hoghead. Each of your hogs are equipped with three rifle three rifle blah, 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 three grenades, a rifle and a bayonet. Let's see what you can do. Major IP Grimly, which I always thought was quite funny. <laughs> So that's us parachuting in. Um, I changed up the lineup a little bit. Still leading with Basil, but I've also got Barry and Ponsonby along rather than Barry and uh, Smith, I think it's going to be. Okay, and we're fighting against the, the Yanks. Uh, yeah, that's, I think that one's Ponsonby. And this one will be Barry. Yep, but we don't want to hang around too much. Okay, so John Boy down here. <laughs> Is our biggest threat right now. So. Hey, Johnny! Incoming! <laughs> Johnny referring to Johnny Foreigner, of course. Um, I like explaining all these stupid Brit jokes. <laughs> Makes me feel a little bit superior. I like an easy mark. Yeah, the computer in this game are generally pretty fucking good. Uh, Barry's taking a bit of a hit, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to this healing crate. Uh, now, healing case will raise your HP. They can raise it above the maximum that it is. Um, when our pigs eventually get their own healing items, which should pro probably happen in the next mission, uh, that won't be the case. They can only raise it up to what your pigs started with. Regardless, even if they picked up health crates and lost the health since then. Well, there we go. Barry got a kill. Which is good for him, I suppose. Maybe, maybe we'll get a girl free and. Uh, Yeah, this mission is really self-explanatory. It's really easy to keep all your pigs alive, which is what you aim to do every mission, to keep all your pigs alive. And it's quite Look easy out. to do that in this oh mission. Dear. Although, I have, I did fuck up on my practice file. <laughs> and kind of, yeah, killed. All of them. Yep. No, I didn't kill, I don't lose all of them, I lost one. Uh, because I didn't take care of this guy over here, this guy's a danger, the guy that's in the side of this river. You can use the skimming grenade trick to get a pretty cheap hit on him, but what I want to do is I just want to take him out right away because the guy over at the far end will just keep throwing grenades. So I'm going to go and get some of the equipment. As you can see, there's three boxes in the minimap. The one up on that ridge contains a bazooka, I believe. No, that one contains a sniper rifle. The one that's near the Pig that threw a grenade on the minimap, which is to the bottom left of the minimap right now. So, as we cut on this one, is TNT. Now, remember, as I said in the last video, TNT does 50 damage if you put it right next to a pig. And the grunts have 50 HP. So, this is basically an, an insta kill you're given right at the start. Right, in this level, this is an insta kill. Uh, TNT is very, very useful. You're gonna want to get that and take advantage of it to get rid of this guy. He's not a huge threat, per se. Because, like I said, you can pretty much beat these guys without it. But I'm just a little bit paranoid since he's beat me once before. Now, you don't want to plant TNT right underneath the pig or else it goes straight up into the air. What you want to do is you want to direct them towards water. As much as possible, there's going to be a dud. So that they do that and drown. When pigs die, they explode, which you saw earlier. That can hurt your pigs. Usually for about 20 damage. Depends how close you are when you hurt them. Uh, kill them all. Again, you can use that to your advantage. If two enemy pigs on your behind you manage to kill one of them, you can do some damage to the other one. Oh, please excuse me. Let me get this prick. You're done. Oh, that grenade yes, was almost dangerous. We'd have a little bit more power behind that. It would have been a dangerous grenade. Now we've got to take out this guy. He's got one grenade left. Uh, so we use a little grenade of our own. I think we're already starting to see what Baz will fit into, perhaps. Uh, Right there we go. I was hoping they would knock him out of the water, but the grenade's uh, AOE doesn't really have that much backward pressure, if that makes sense. He's almost certainly going to hit Basil. If he doesn't, then he's a fucking retard. Mm, the tragic I think he may have missed him. Pigs. No, nah, he did, he did pretty fucking well there. Yeah. Now it's up to Barry to finish it off. Yes, they will. Baz. Cool. Dot X. Yeah, I hope we do, because otherwise he's going to kill Basil and then we forfeit our all pigs alive bonus, which we get into after this fight. Should be alright. He's got 20 HP left, doesn't he? 
to me. Talk to me. Yeah, it does. It's not a cannon. Don't go out on the moors! <laughs> I love the Yorkshire pig. I just love Yorkshire people in general, but the Yorkshire pig is the best You pig. have the wrong guy! No, we don't. He oh. died! And there we go. First mission complete with no pig death. It's not a huge deal. You can do maybe the first five are pretty... Well, the first four so they're really easy to do if there's no pig. After that, it starts to get a bit of a challenge, but it's doable on everyone. So as you can see, we get these little spinny things. One for completing level and one for a survival bonus, which, as I said, is keeping every pig alive. Uh, what they are is promotion tokens, which I think Rick Neil might be about to explain after this black screen, which will probably take about a fucking week. Right. It's up to you to promote the pigs on your squad. Choose their paths carefully. Each rank of pig has its own strengths and weaknesses, and you must find out which is best for your style of command. Yeah, so what happens is we go in, Basil's killed two, Bai's killed one, Ponsomy's killed one. No, that's how many battles they've been in. Ah, yeah. Barry's killed two and Ponsby's killed one. You can see those numbers are on the bottom. So we can kind of see what our heroes are good at. So Basil, kind of a leader, but not really a killer yet. Whereas Barry is just fucking tearing up. Uh, okay. So the promotion paths are heavy weapons, engineer, espionage, and medic. Heavy weapons is basically bazookas, mortars, things that make you go boom. Uh, engineer, you get a shotgun, it's kind of a close range class, shotgun, TNT. That kind of thing. Espionage is a sniper, but you also get a lot of like really tactical items, like different gases that can poison your enemies or put them to sleep even. And medic is a medic you get to heal. You also get things like tranquilizer guns, which will put an enemy to sleep for a turn, which are really fucking cheap as fucking multiplayer. I don't care who knows it. So I think I'm gonna go I'm gonna go kinda classic here. I'm gonna make Basil an engineer. Probably wants to make Barry espionage. Yeah, Barry's going to be our snippy. I should say he gives him glasses. Uh, Basil gets a few patches which contain like all these things, compared to the normal Grunt, which is just... Uh, yep. So that's how we're going. Next time, guys, we'll be doing the next mission, which is Routine Patrol. But we'll be getting into some more pig promotion. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to subscribe, etc, etc. This is Thorman, and I'm signing the fuck out.